360 degree reality, hey guys and welcome to another tutorial on Excellent Studios and in today's tutorial as you already saw in the intro we will be creating some sort of uh, folding animations so uh, for these three here I used uh, an After Effects intern um, effect and this one is kind of whoops I will show you the first one which is better okay so this one is kind of a fake folding effect but uh, I wanted to show you that too and then also I have this fun little loop here which I already, uh, also made with this technique so um, I'd say let's jump right into it so as in all of my tutorials um, first of all create a new composition um, that's all good 10 seconds 1920 okay hit ok and now I'm just gonna make a new solid with command or control Y and uh, let's make this sort of a bright uh, blue and then we're gonna create some sort of paper so just grab this tool here by pressing either Q or just clicking on it and then I'm just gonna make some random shape uh, click on fill whoops yeah make it white yeah stroke we don't need a stroke and now for at first I'm gonna show you this uh, After Effects intern effect which uh, is located under effects and uh, distort CC page turn okay so at first we have this um, controls panel here uh, and yeah, there you can choose top left corner, top right corner, bottom left corner, bo uh, bottom right corner, which is pretty much from which uh, corner it should fold onto whatever side. So I'm just gonna use the top left corner. Um, so this is gonna be the, the start of the fold animation. And uh, fold position, yeah, this is how we're gonna animate it. So, our, uh, whoops, this is how we're gonna animate it. We're just gonna uh, drag up these X and Y axis you can see this point right here uh, this is the point which determines uh, how much it should be folded so let's say uh, we have the position here the fold position um, then you can change the lighting which I which I like to do uh, very often I just rotate it until it's only a very subtle lighting okay maybe like this that's good and also back capacity I like to set to 100 and um, then you can also uh, change the fold radius which is pretty much how uh, steep it should, it should fold so say for example if you want to have an animation like this it should be at the lowest radius possible and for this here it should be at a very high radius I think it's 1000 or something yeah it's 1000 <laughs> um, so usually I'll just set this to 100 for a uh, um, usual paper animation and then uh, for the actual animation just make a keyframe at fold position and set it to somewhere in, in the middle of the paper and then go to some I don't know let's say one second uh, further on the timeline uh, set click N for end of end the timeline and then create another keyframe and set this full position to somewhere down here okay uh, we can drag this further up even more okay like this and then I'm gonna grab those two oops click on this layer click U select all these keyframes press F9 go into the graph editor and I'm in the speed uh, graph right now so um, I want this to start slowly and then uh, be fast at the end okay like this yep yeah seems good uh, and now which I also like to do sometimes um, I think I use it somewhere here yeah actually I use it here um, this this uh, effect also has a feature to uh, set another back page for instance I can duplicate this layer go to the beginning uh, and just delete page turn uh, then make it uh, some sort of gray 
I'll just usually I use some some gray uh, on the top there, but just to um, in order to show you in this tutorial, I'm gonna make it an extreme example. Then you can make it invisible. Go to layer one and then select first layer as a back page, and then it's gonna look somehow like this, which is also how I made this uh, text animation in the beginning, uh, which says fail in the beginning and accent in the end, like this. Um, and pretty much what I did for this, I created an, an, uh, a text layer. Okay, I'm just gonna hide this text layer with uh, what's whatever. Um, make it 400, I don't know. And then duplicate it and set another text like um, LMAO and then you can hide this and I'm just gonna uh, go to the shape layer 1 and copy our page term we made before and paste it onto this layer and uh, let's see <laughs> okay and then for the back just select the first layer with LMAO and then it should look somehow like this which is a pretty cool feature, I think. Uh, for me personally, uh, I think this transition looks pretty cool. So, um, yeah, also, I'm gonna show you how to make this last example. Uh, it's pretty much the same techniques we already used, so I'm just gonna delete those two. Um, so, here, I'm just gonna set the radius to zero. The minimum is four, so it's just gonna be at four. Uh, I don't care. And then we're gonna set this uh, this shape layer. Um, I'm gonna change the color to some sort of bright gray again, and make it visible, and then add some some extra features, which you can color in a darker gray, like this, and whatever. I don't know. Okay. Then you can hide it again, and then uh, just preview, and you'll see that this is visible on there. Okay, cool. So that's it with the um, with the CC page turn effect, and then I'm gonna also uh, also gonna show you how to create this uh, fake folding animation, which I did in here. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm just gonna show you the the second technique I used in here, uh, real quick. Um, what I made, I made a. Um, Okay, I'm gonna activate the grid by pressing Control Shift and hashtag, or nope, Control Shift and uh, apostrophe on my keyboard is hashtag, um, and then also make sure that Snap to Grid is activated, and then I'm just gonna make some sort of uh, yeah using the path tool some sort of rectangle. Oh god, hate it. Okay, snap this to some. A crossing and make another point. I'm just dragging it so it snaps to the next corner. Like if I press here, I will just drag it up there and it snaps. Okay, make it white. Okay, and then you can also add two uh, other points here and um, then. What I did then is I deleted this corner here, and then I, um, on the same layer, I created another triangle. Okay, which should look somehow like this. And as a next step, I animated the shape path. So I'll go 15 seconds forward and drag this somewhere here, and then you go to one second and drag this to this corner right here and then it should look somehow like this um, and then I also animated the color with the fill color um, stopwatch went forward here to some yeah okay and set this to some sort of gray and then here set it to uh, some kind of bright gray again okay select all of these press F9 and then for the page turn itself we want to um, 
make a nice curve so it's a smooth smooth uh, fold okay it should be flop you know what I mean like this we can even exaggerate it a bit okay let's see yeah I like it and then for the color just do pretty much the same thing uh, in the speed graph make sure you're in the speed graph um, and let's see how this looks like okay looks pretty cool and then we have this little problem that um, we can see a very tiny gap between those two which I tried to solve using merge paths but uh, this didn't work because it would set everything to the same color so I had to select the shape too and make some uh, sort of stroke okay make it one pixel thick and then go to the whoops go back to the timeline uh, copy the color keyframes go into the stroke stroke color and just paste the keyframes and then it should be should be solved okay um, and then as another technique just to bypass this uh, problem with either the color uh, with the, either the stroke thing or uh, if you want to create the whole thing without using this grid for whatever reason um, you can also well, let's have a quick look okay okay it's a bit more complicated um, but I, I'm gonna show it to you anyway so I'm just gonna delete this again and then um, I'll do the whole thing without the grid to show you it's possible without the grid uh, so I'm gonna make some sort of rectangle here I drag it to the middle um, so like my path tool oh okay I have to go down here and right click convert to Bezier path okay and then I am gonna add uh, one path point right here one Bezier point however you want to call them somewhere down here and okay drag them further okay cool um, and then just duplicate this layer I'm gonna hide the, the one above and then you can animate the path in here okay go further down 15 frames and then drag to drag this to a somewhat straight position and then it's gonna look like this okay of course I'm gonna delete the stroke for both of those mm -hmm. and um, then we can also do the same thing with the color again uh, go to fill color set keyframe go forward and set this to a gray okay oh and in the beginning it should probably be white completely white mm-hmm okay okay that's cool and then we can show this second layer and just delete this corner point and of course make it white too and it should look like this and then it's getting even more complicated uh, I'm gonna select those two press option and back bracket just to cut these layers and then we need to duplicate this layer here drag it uh, further down the timeline and um, then we need to duplicate the first layer we made drag it to the top and um, then I'm just gonna switch out those keyframes by selecting all of them uh, right click keyframe system time reverse keyframes and then instead of going out we want this to okay I have to adjust this we want it to go inside so I'm gonna drag this somewhere in here okay doesn't matter if it's not straight and then uh, toggle switches modes if you can't see this okay and then uh, just set this layer to alpha inverted mat and okay now we have to uh, expand this layer and then we should 
to the color animation as we did before again. So I'm just gonna copy these two, go down to contents, rectangle, fill, color, paste. Okay, and then the final frame should be some sort of bright gray. Okay, just so we can see this this corner. Um, cool. Yep, that's nice. And of course, you can ease it again by okay. I'm just gonna press Control A for select all, and then press U two times in order to see all the keyframes. Select all of them. Click F9 go into the graph editor and then do the same thing as we did before. Um, making a smooth curve. So it, as, a, uh, as an outcome, we have a peak and two east sides. Okay, that's cool. And if you found this tutorial helpful, um, please leave a like, subscribe and do whatever is good for my channel and uh, also for you. So you can see further tutorials and also check out my main channel, Action Graphics, all in the description. Uh, okay, bye.